What's going on? Like, yeah, no filtering. Wait. We're here to check gummy bears, man. I, got, I just ate a mouthful of gummy bears. Just don't just shut, shut the fuck up. Gummy bears are awesome. I don't care how old you are. You don't grow out of gummy bears. And if you think you do, go get some. If you haven't had gummy bears in like a decade, go go get some. And then let me know when you just because if you don't like gummy bears, you're not a human being. Scar symmetry, ghost prototype two. No problem. Hopefully, this song doesn't directly correlate with ghost prototype one. I guess because I haven't heard the first. So hopefully. It's not like a Lord of the Rings trilogy where, like, starting at the two towers, you really fucking needed to see the first one. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's a standalone piece just called Ghost Pro Type 2. Dos S. Machina. Always love that phrase. Ex Machina? It's fucking awesome. One, it looks cool, sounds cool, and the overall, like, premise, like the definition of it. Ex Machina is like when at the end of a movie... The main character is like in a really fucked situation. There's no chance of getting out of. Then suddenly he can just levitate and fly. <laughs> it's like, what? You never said you could fly. So yeah, that's next Machina. When it's like something that was not explained earlier and somehow it saves the characters at the end. Anyway. Um, any fucking way. This comes from Matty W. Appreciate you, homie. If you guys have any requests, hit me up for more like random movie definitions. <laughs> this channel the last few days has gone off the fucking rails. L last few videos was all about food analogies. I got Lord of the Rings references. He can hit that. So what's up? Morphogenesis? I think that's the other Scar Symmetry Scar Symmetry song I've heard. He had good clean vocals there. But they weren't like that. This is a different tier of clean vocal. Also, where did it what the your band name is Scar Symmetry? That's one of the most disgusting, disgustingly awesome band names there is. Scar symmetry, it's like two scars are symmetrical. It's awesome. And gross. But he has like this voice. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> See that? That's what you expect from Scar a band called Scar Symmetry.
makes you wonder when he breathes in. You know what I mean? Is it, he, he's switching vocals very quickly. His voice came in and it kind of like scared the, the guitar solo away. I honestly thought that was I thought we were headed towards the outro there. You know, like that was the same vocal he was using in the intro. I was like, okay, I'm glad they're they brought it back. It's like an homage to the beginning. Let's wrap it up with it. No, not at all. That's why it kinda of fucking scared me when the <laughs> when the music came back. They added the, the backing vocal behind it this time. Good stuff. That was a good song. Great soft vocals. I didn't know he was able to do. Again, I knew he had clean vocals. Good ones. From the, uh, the last one. Morphogenesis. I, it's so hard to pronounce. Every time I picture it in my brain, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> but but, <laughs> but I didn't know he could do that. Like, there's different different tiers of vocals. That was that was impressive. The only, the only thing is now I want to... Do, do do they have a full song like that? Like a ballad? That would be pretty cool. Just saying. 
Not every band does ballads and shit like that or acoustic versions. I think he would kill. I think he'd kill it. Because that was pretty impressive. A song called Ex Machina, though, you could have you could have played with that. Like, like, I, like I said the definition earlier, you could have like had some weird twist to your sound right at the end. It's like actually doing Ex Machina for a, um, an Ex Machina for the ending of your song. That would have been awesome. <laughs> that would have been sweet. That would have been really sweet. But yeah, good song. Great vocal, of course. And they did a weird thing during, like I guess, the second half of their choruses. The harsh vocalist would come in doing his part, or harsh vocal. The harsh vocals would come in doing that part, but the guitar was still on like a very almost cheerful melody, like the tone was happy sort of. But you got the, uh, the all throat growl vocal going. It was an odd little mix. It worked, but it's just you don't see that very often. Normally they switch, but no, it was that was awesome. And then they had instead of doing one, like minute, full minute guitar solo, they split it into like three mini ones. The first one was like 10 seconds, the second one was like 20, and the third was about 20. You know what I mean? Kind of cool. They like chopped it up instead of just giving one long one during the bridge. They gave us three miniature ones, which I think that's also what kind of fucked me up with my brain thinking of where the song was going to end. Because it felt like it did all the, the pieces that songs usually do because it's most songs are kind of formed similarly. But then, no. <laughs> nope. The outro still had like two minutes left. So we weren't even near the outro yet. But hit like, subscribe. Scar Symmetry. Who knew I'd be asking if a band called Scar Symmetry. If they, if they did any ballads. A piano ballad would be sweet with his vocals. Just saying. Hit like, subscribe. Matt, appreciate you, homie. If you are still here. You are a real one.